Hello Witch Gem Games here once again and welcome to this new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In this video we are going to create this inventory item drop down menu that will have all the options for that item. And the defaults will be inspect and drop, but if the item is like usable, it will also have the use and whatever we will add later on. So yeah, let's get started. So, on the last episode, we created this item actions enum. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to go to our uh, structures, and to the item struct. And here on the item struct, let's go to the structure, and let's add a new variable. And this variable will be called item actions. And it will be Type item actions enum and it will be also an array like this. Now let's go to the default values and we want to add two elements to these item actions. So we have the use, inspect, and drop. We want to add the inspect, we want to be able to inspect every item as default, and also we want to be able to drop every item as default. Okay. Now let's save. Let's close this. Now we have to go to the blueprints, to the HUD folder. Here we actually want to create a new widget. So blueprint class. Uh, user widget select. And let's call this W. Oh, it's saved and okay. <laughs> W inventory inventory uh, slot drop down like that. Let's open it. Now what we want to do here, let's just add first a canvas panel like always. Now let's change this green size to custom and let's set it to 120 by 160. Okay. Now here to the canvas panel, we want to add a vertical box. Let's move it to here. Now let's set this position to zero, zero, and size 120 by uh, 160 like that and also let's make it size to content now let's change the set order to be like five so it's over everything else actually i'm not sure if we have changed some of the widgets already to this let's set this to six just to be sure okay the next thing that we want to do we want to actually make this as variable i think Yes, we actually have to make it as variable. So let's just also rename it just to be vertical box so it looks a little bit better. Now let's go to the graph. Let's delete everything else than the event construct. Let's move it to the starting position. I always like to start from this where the lines cross here. Now what we want to do is we want to create a variable and this variable will be called w inventory slot reference now we want to set this variable type to w inventory slot object reference we want to make it instance editable and expose on spawn now when we compile and we get it to here we can get access to the to the slots variables that we will set when we create this drop down. So let's get from this and let's get a item get item details this one and let's split it. Okay and now we want to get this item details item actions and we want to get a the length of it. I never can 
write the length first time correctly. But yeah, so now if the length is like two, so we have the inspect and prop, we want to subtract one from this. And why is that? It's because we want to get a for loop, not for each loop, for loop. We can actually, let's make this as our favorite and also this for each loop because we will be using this a lot later on. Uh, for loop. Let's connect the events construct to the for loop. So why did we minus one from the length? Because we want to connect this to the last index. And if this starts from zero, the last index will be one because it will go through zero and one. So one and two basically. Okay, because if you have two of those and the coding starts from zero, this will make it correct. And now, what we want to do next is we also want to get from these item actions. Uh, yeah, and we want to get a copy. Let's get it to around here and let's add a reroute to here. So now we want to get this index from here. So we're getting on the zero, we're getting the first one, and on the first one, we're getting the second one. That will be the last in the case if we have two of them. Now, what we have to do is we have to get the W inventory slot reference again here. Now let's right click and create widget loop body like this. And now we actually have to create the widget. So let's compile and let's save all. This error doesn't mean anything. We just haven't selected the class. So let's move this next to the third position map. Let's go to here. Now let's create yet another widget. So blueprint class user widget. This will be called W inventory slot drop down uh, button. I am not very good with the names as you can see so I will most likely just uh, type it like name it to whatever it does basically. So it's the easiest way to find it for me. So let's open the W inventory slot drop down button. And here, what we have to do, we want to add the canvas panel first, of course. Then to the canvas, we want to add a size box. Let's set the size a uh, screen size to 120 by 40. And now let's also move the size box here. Uh, let's set the position x to 0, y to 0, size x to 120, and y to 40. Now width override and height override 120. Body, so it's always this size. Now, under this size box, we want to add a button like this. And why does this want to add the zero to there? Let's just call it button. It's better. Okay. And let's make sure that this is a variable. Now, what we want to do is we want to open the normal style. We want to change this pro as to image. And now let's set this color to, I think it should be, I will have to check from my other page. Yeah, I will set it to 0 0.025. I think that's pretty good. You can obviously uh, set it to whatever you want. Now let's close the normal style. Let's copy, let's paste it to the Howard, pressed, and also to the disabled. 
Now let's open the Howard. And let's change the tint to a little bit lighter. So, 0, 0, uh, 0 0.05. Like that. Now on the pressed, let's set it to... Zero point one, or is it? Is that too light? I think that's pretty good. Okay. And now, what else we want to do here is we want to add a text plot. So let's move the text here. And first, let's change change the font size to like fourteen. I think that's pretty good. Let's align it to the middle on the horizontal axis and also on the vertical axis. Now let's set the text to like use so we can see how it looks. And I don't actually want this typeface to be bold. I want it to be this one that I can yet pronounce. Reg re regular, re I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> and also the justif justification to the middle, like that. Now we want to make this text also a as a variable. Let's call it uh, text. Let's compile, let's save all, and let's go to the graph. And here on the graph, we can also delete everything else than the construct, and let's move it to the correct starting position for us. Now, uh, let's create a variable here. Let's call it W inventory inventory plot ref and also it will be W inventory slot uh, object reference instance enable and expose on spawn and also uh, let's add a variable here another variable i mean and this will be called button action and it will be type item action enum and let's actually move it up over the uh, slot inventory slot ref and let's also make this instance editable and expose on spawn now let's compile let's save all and let's go back to the w inventory slot drop down here now we want to uh, create the widget which will be the drop down button because we want to create the buttons to this. Okay. Now we want to connect this W inventory slot ref to here, so we'll we will pass the reference and also this to here. Okay. Now when we compile, it will fix the error. After that, we want to get our vertical box here. And we want to add a child to this. Because we want to add this widget to this vertical box. And now let's get from the written value and connect to the content. So what we are doing here now. Actually, first I will align this a little bit better. Because I always like everything to shit. Hmm? Okay, now it's better. So we're getting the item details. Uh, item actions the array we're getting the length we're basically running through the whole array and first on the first index we are getting the creating the button and we are getting the first index uh, button function like that and then we will run it until the end so in this case the second index and we will get its function so the first uh, widget will we will have the inspect and the second will have the drop in the when the values are default basically okay let's compile let's save and now to the w inventory slot drop down button here we have to do a few more things on events construct what we want to do we want to get our text variable let's get it maybe up here and we want to set con uh, set text i mean Connected to here. Now, from the text, we want to get a select node. 
like this. And what we want to select it with will be the button action. Connect it to here. So now it will, I will actually get all these a little bit closer. Or not, I don't know. Now it will change the text by the button action variable. So the use will have text say use. Inspect will have text chain. Inspect and prop will have text chain prop. Simple as that. And also, what we want to do here now, we want to get, uh, actually, we want to select our button and we want to, on pressed, we want to add a new event. Here, what we want to do, we want to get our button actions. And we want to switch on item actions in them, like this. So we are basically uh, continuing by the button action variable or what it says. So from the use, we want to get W inventory slot reference. From here, we want to call the use call function use. Okay, we created these on the uh, episode four. And on the inspect, we want to call the inspect. And on the drop, we want to call the drop. Like that. So we're basically calling the correct function. And yeah, let's compile and let's save all. Okay, the video has already been pretty long, so I think we will end this video for this day. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.